Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add reward ads to your Android Kotlin app. So um, the reason you want to add this is to maximize your earnings because you're going to get users watching ads to get rewards. So first up, I've already added this, but you'll want to add to your build grade all this uh, Google dependency. Um, and then you'll also want to add to your uh, Android manifest your Google app ID. Um, you can get that from the AdMob console in your app settings. I've already added a button here for um, the reward, for showing the reward ad. And um, I've got some code that exists from a previous demo I've done on interstitial and banner ads. So if you think that'd be useful to you, you can head along and watch that video. I'll link it in the description below. So first off, you're going to want a field for your reward ad, and you're going to set that to null. And I'm going to create a function to load my um, reward ad. And I'm going to call that from the onCreate method. So for my load reward ad, it's going to be pretty simple uh, similar to showing an interstitial. So first I'm just going to want to um, have an add request and I'll just go add request.builder.build very much like my load interstitial below. All this code is going to be available on my GitHub so you can check it out and I'm using um, demo IDs so you can run it and it should just run. So you want to load the reward ad and you want to pass in a ad unit ID. So there we go, I've got the one from the Google documentation, that's a test one. Also going to want to pass in my ad request. And also I want a callback for when my reward ad is loaded. So I'm going to override two functions here. One will be for if the ad load failed, in which case we won't have a reward ad. We'll just set that to null. Um, and one for if it succeeded. You can also do additional logging here if it's happening regularly for you. See why it's failing to load. Uh, it's not allowing me to set it to null because I haven't made that an optional type, so I've done that now. And now I want my on ad loaded, and this is where I'll set my reward ad field to be whatever loaded ad I have. This way I can show it when I'm ready. So I'm, I'm loading it in advance so that when uh, the user wants to show the ad, there's not a delay. And it just creates a better user experience that way. So I'm creating a function show reward ad, which will be called from the button that I'm going to press in the UI. So if I go back here, oh, it's actually just called show reward. So let me fix that up. Okay. So if I go back, you can see that it's now not got a red squiggly line under it because it's found the function that it wants to call when I click that button. I preset up that button just because I don't think you guys need to see me adding a button to the UI. Um, if you are interested in that sort of thing, just um, let me know and I can do some more comprehensive Android demos. So I'm going to want a full screen content callback and that's basically so if the ad's dismissed, um, it'll set the reward ad to null. And it can also load a new one. So if the user clicks the button again, it will be able to show an ad. So it's going to load a new reward ad there. And I'll also want to show the reward ad, obviously, because I've clicked on this button because I want to show the reward ad. And I'll want to add an on user and reward listener. This is basically so that um, 
when the time has passed that the user should now receive the rewards, they've successfully watched the video, um, it will let the, um, it will basically call back here and um, be able to process their reward. So it will give you a reward item. And I'm just going to log the reward item, which is um, contains an amount and a type. So like you could have 500 coins, you could have one engine upgrade, um, and you could sort of um, randomize which um, rewards you want to give to your people, or you could have it so that they progress and get better rewards as they watch more ads and sort of drive engagement that way. So the more loyal people who are watching ads and supporting you get better rewards as time goes on. You can sort of do it however you want, but basically in Google you can set up, um, when you set up the reward ad, you specify a reward amount and a reward type. So then you can control um, what reward the user gets for watching the ad. So now if I go ahead and run that, I've got this show reward ad button and if I click on it, it gives you a countdown until the reward. Um, so I'm expecting it to log my reward here, that's because that's what I'm meaning to do. Oh yep, I can see that says 10 coins awarded there. Um, so if I just filter by that, then I'll be able to see when new ones show up. So because I'm going to dismiss um because I'm going to dismiss this ad, it should load a new one. And yes it has, and it's got a time remaining until reward. So if the user keeps watching till that time, they'll get the reward. And you can see I got my 10 coins awarded. If you dismiss before that, you're not going to get the reward. And yeah, this is just me showing you that how you set up the different um, rewards. So you can specify the reward amount and the reward item. So the reward item is actually the type. So I should probably just set that to coins. Um, that will allow you to control what you give the user depending on what ads you've displayed to them. And here's a different one I've set up. So yeah, like I said earlier, you could either randomize which ads get shown. So randomize which rewards and maybe make some rarer than others um, or you can just do it progressive. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have please like and subscribe for more content.